Hello everyone, Athena Artiste here with the start of a new series which I am calling Very Harsh Farming. This series is replacing my series with the Adam and Eve start because it is, I think, a much better map for long-term play than that ever was because I always felt it was awkward. Now with this being a red desert map I'm going to throw my goals list up there so that you could see what I aim well I hope to get done here this chapter but this is a red desert map and I did have it because it's a desert I had them use the palm trees as the tree type and we have this lovely lake up in here, which is what I want to have the majority of my people moving before the end of this chapter up in here so that there could be a fishery and eventually a market and tool making and so forth going on up in here. And But here in the middle is going to be well, what I call a forest zone area, which will be my stepping stone to get them from here where they spawned up into there so now I already set my camera position so let's start with putting in a bit of road here I'm not gonna put in a whole lot right at first like I usually do not now okay I want to leave a lot of room over here on this side for well let's just call it stuff <laughs> at this point and we're going to put in the matching forester type for the palm trees. So let's put him, well, it, I should say. It's not a person. Put that right in there. And there we go. Now, I'm going to start setting up my crossroads arrangement here which is going to be the absolute center of my forest zone area now I did look it up which took some searching because I watched that video well it was back when I first started watching banished because what I wanted was to figure out how other people like a lot of other people, I was really struggling when I first started playing Banished. I mean, how am I supposed to get a community started? How am I supposed to keep them, you know, in shelter and survive and everything? And this gentleman, like I said, this, the link and his name is down in the description area. And he did a really nice video which he called the crossroads strategy or something to that effect. And I've always taken his advice very much to heart. So a shout out of appreciation to him for that. Now, I originally thought I would be putting in the colonial charter chopper, which uses 12 pieces of wood and four stones. But then I started looking around at Mr. K's mini buildings. And here is a mini chopper that only uses 10 pieces of wood. Well, at this point in time in the game, I am very much uh, about <laughs> minimizing the need for resources. So for the same reason, I'm going to use his what he calls a mini house, but I am calling a tent <laughs> because that's what it is. So there we go. So for these first two items, all I will need is wood. So let's select, well, a fair amount of wood here for them to get for us right at first. We're going to bring our speed up to high and put things into motion. Now, 
I will be pausing the game quite frequently so as to and we could get them started on our tent just that fast because there are and I do apologize to those of you that are used to me doing 30 minute videos I do fear this one is going to have to go a bit longer simply to get everything done that needs to be done okay there we have our four people into our tent and they're working on our little wood chopper there so now what we're going to do is right now everything is here in this little cart right there so i want to get everything that's in this cart which is their well they've even got firewood over there but they've got their coats their tools and their food that's all over there in the cart and i want them to get that eventually into this barn now i also need to start food collection as quickly as i can i will eventually be putting a well in right there but that is not going to get built right away what i'm going to put in first and so far as food is this forest outpost hunter that just is a really small building and I could put two people on there so there we go with that and I do need them to start collecting stone for me so let's start getting that going they're working on the barn that's almost done Oh, we've got the cutter done. Okay, so let's get someone over there chopping wood for us. And there's the barn. So now we are going to take out this cart and get everything moved from there over there. Very good. They're starting to do that already, but let's put two people onto hunting. And we're going to bump our food amount. Yes, I want them to keep working on that. And then we'll put game back in motion. Now, the other thing I need to do here, well, I want to put in two full-size homes. Well, dock homes. These are much larger buildings, and they're going to go there. And I'm also going to be putting in the full-size gatherer's hut, which is going to go... And yes, I do have enough stone. Good. I was a little concerned about that. So there we go. Now... I want them to do the gatherer, but still get this car emptied out. So there we go. So now, it's still late spring. They should be able to get us a fair amount of food collected here. Yes, I know the food is low. I'm working to correct that. So there we go. Now, I will open this up, but I do want them to build those houses first. Oh, and let me finish my road around them. I want my road to come around like this. Okay, so now we need to bring our road in for getting up to this area. Now, let's see. I want my road to start just about right there. And let's see. I want it. 
I want it to come, well, I want it beyond that radius, obviously, for the Forester. But about it there. Now, where did I get? Okay, I just went down here too far. There we go. And now I don't normally do this, but I will because, like I said, this has been a... Actually, I don't know how many times I have tried to play this particular chapter out, but it has been very difficult, let's just put it that way, to get them up to there where I want them to be so I can get a fishery going. And, okay, let's see. That looks like that's, if I can see, yes. There's the road. And there's the road. So. And we've got a... It's going to be... I know, I don't usually do one this big. And it won't stay that big forever. But we're going to do... Well... Right about there. There we go. And then we're going to put the game back in motion again. Because we're going to need a lot more trees cut down. So we might as well start grabbing those. We're also going to need some iron ore quite soon. Whoops. Now, why didn't I get... Well, there I got a family. I have to watch those. Now, I'm going to leave the tent there for a short time. And there's our forester now. So we're going to put one person on there. Simply because, yes, I do need some people living out in here for the for these things to be working and let's see we've still got well those are all still kids at this point so now let's come up in here it's summer right now so let's start up in here with putting a home right there and then we're going to start bringing in our dock which I want to run right across this beach there we go and we're going to put in a barn, which we're going to put in this way. So I'm sure. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I got a couple in there. Okay. And there we go. Get them started on doing this. Because I really need to get more food going as quickly as I can. So let's put in, let's see, we want to come on this side of that barn. Where is that? Okay, right there there. That looks to be the edge of the barn. Now maybe I could come the rest of that way. Hopefully. With road. Okay, so they're putting in that house. And 
in and there's the snow coming in. But at least they will have a house up here where they're going to be able to keep warm as they work on this area. So there we go. We had, well, we've actually gotten everyone into shelter. But of course, we're going to be needing to build a lot more houses because we've been having kids grow up. Or at least everyone is into shelter now. Let me pause while I think here. Now, I've got the barn started. So the next thing I want to bring in, and let me turn things around. And I'm going to put in, let's see, because this is where my barn is. So let's put our water scavenger there and our reed farm right next to it, right there. And I do want them to do the scavenger first, but the barn before that. So there we go. Now I need to get, I'm going to keep that original camera position for a while, but I am going to set one for up here so that, now these should be, yes, my builders. Very, very good. So there we go. We've got We've got our barn up, so they've got some place to put things. If we can just get them to build this scavenger out here. And the supply of logs is low. I've selected plenty, I'm sure. Let's just... Make sure we've got all those selected. And because our tool situation is getting pretty serious. Now I also need to put in, let me see, where do I want to put this? This is my little town arrival tool, which looks, well, it looks to me like a boat on a beach and some barrels and so forth. So we're going to put that right there. I do want them to build that right away. Okay, there goes the scavenger. Very good. So now we've got someone collecting food for us up here. Hopefully they're going to get that. There we go. So let's take stock here. Now, as of right now, well, we only got six iron ore, so we need to get more. We're almost out of tools, of course. Leather, we're at five. And ten for feathers. Because... Well, as I keep getting these houses built, there's going to be lots of babies being born, and I'm going to need more clothing. So let's put a rush on this iron ore there, so we can get that going pretty quickly. Okay, there's our reed farm. So we're going to put someone on there. Bump that up to 2,000. Now, yeah, I will do that. Let's put in our regular dock workshop. And that is going to go right in here. Right next to that barn. 
Now keep in mind that the dock workshop, just like the market, they enter and exit from the long sides. So I have to make sure I give them a way to get in and out of those on the sides. So now we're going to start going up so as to get our fishery in here. So here we start going with that. And I do need to get out here fairly a good distance. But I have to be very careful in doing that because, well, this is again, this is one of the things I've learned in <laughs> so many of my attempts in trying to do this is that if I try to put in too much dock right away then they will start freezing to death. They get stuck out here and they get frozen and so I just have to bring this in very carefully so no one gets stuck and the supply okay we're now into our second year spring food is not real good right now if we could get this fishery up and running that will really help okay there's our workshop how are we doing with the iron ore well that's definitely coming up and we're up to 10 so we're still 10 feathers well now we're at 12 with the leather well that's good well, let's just put one person on here, and I'm going to have them start making us tools right off the bat. And I'm going to up those amounts for those. And there we go. We're at the 22 mark, minute mark. We're not doing too badly. You almost got stuck out there, you daring person, you. How much more? I do have quite a bit more out there. Okay, let's put in the next piece. Because as soon as I get this fishery up and running... See, now there's someone with broken tools. But I've got my tool making started. They've made 12 tools already. So there we go. We're on our way there. So, people, you are, people are scaring me. Yes, and you got stuck. So come on. There we go. Now, hold on. Is that... That is as far as I put out, Doc. Well, let's see. We gotta zoom way out here. So I can see my radius. Let's see if this is far enough. Here's our fishery. Yes, I think we are far enough out here. Okay. Well, that's really good. So... And there's our fishery. And we are going to give them a barn, of course. Now, I know... I really do know that you need to have as much water space around your fishery as you can get. So as to maximize the amount of fish that they're collecting. So... I know that some people don't care for the fact that I am putting my houses right out here next to my fishery. But I would argue that the 
fact of having, which I hope will be my fishermen, living there in those houses will counter that because they will have a lot less walking to do with having their houses so nice and close together. And they still got all these trees to cut down. So let's get those cut down. And while they're working on that, yes, the supply of logs is low. I'm quite aware of that. Okay, we're going to eventually have a market right there. And let's get them to cut those trees right around that first so I can put in my road and so forth. Okay, there goes our fishery. Here it comes. Yes, I know the food is getting low. We've got snow on the ground again. This is working out. Let's get that built. I will have that... I'll have it done at least before... The full of winter hits. Still darn cold right now. There we go. Now... Looks like I can only put two people on there for right now. So that means I will only open up one of the houses out there. So, let's put things back in motion again. Now I need to bring my road all the way I guess I need to come over there. Right over to there. There. And there. Because now I'm going to put in another house over here. There we go. How are we? We've got, well, we're up to 48 tools. Doing real well. Food's starting to come up. Let me pause here. Let's take stock. Okay, we have 44 feathers. And let's see, where are we? 12 leathers. So, let's start having you make some survival coats. So let's get that house out there built. Get that barn out there built, for Christ's sake, folks. we go. Okay, there's our barn. Where's our builders? Uh, well, we've got one builder there. Okay. they're working on the barn now which is fine and there's our 30 minute mark but the barn is done and there goes the house that's out there so 
so as soon as that house gets done we're going to do a housing check to see how many more houses need to be built right now I think we're not doing too badly at this point so let's pause the game yes that was a young couple so we have one house that we need there and well looks like it's gonna be three more houses oh boy yeah three more houses so we've got one there so that's gonna be one we need two more at this point now let's put one right out here on this dock so there's one now where do we want to put the other one oh geez well let's put it over here on this side then no let's put them over here on this side then yeah there we go now then that should okay we've got up to 10 make sure we get these houses built before that other barn because I don't have my fisherman out there dock on it do need to turn that on Although that's gonna be a little ways off, I hope. Okay, good. We've got those two down. So. I'm going to have to have you go back over how much feathers are left. Very few. Okay. You're going back to tool making. Now, why did we get a single lady in there? Don't we have a guy? Well, he's seven. Oh, did I run out of guys that are adults? I think I did. And that's another gal. And she's going to need a house quite soon. So. I wanted to end this episode here. I think I'm going to need to put in one more house. Well, let's do this. We're going to put in a well over in here so that's gonna go right there and we are going to turn on this well also and we're going to need to collect a fair amount of stone so as to build those wells Okay, now, I know I need one more house, I can't remember now what I figured out, okay, I, let's see, 
That's a guy, but he's seven. She will be an adult shortly. As will she. I got a bunch of gals and not very many guys. Okay, I will put in one more house at this point. And I am going to put it... Oh, well, let's put it up there. I'm not going to build it until that girl grows up. But I will put in... This is Mr. K's mini workshop, which I'm going to put in right there. And I am going to go ahead and build that before I end this episode. Okay. Because the other thing, that's the other thing I need to do before I do end this episode. Okay, let's open this one up so I can see where the radius is. I'm going to bring in my road this way. And then we're going to come up in here with what I consider a normal sized. Let's see, there's the road right there. So. A normal sized stockpile. There we go. And this can get shut down now. And we're going to select all these trees up in there for harvesting. Now, this is Mr. K's mini workshop, which for the most part is quite similar to the dock, the regular dock workshop, because with a couple of exceptions. Number one, they can actually make iron tools, that is if the iron is available. But they could also make hide coats. So in other words, now any leather that they're going to get is going to be turned into hide coats. And where are we on the leather? Well, I think she grabs, she or he grabs some already. We're back up to 20 with the feathers. Okay. But this is where I will be pausing my game and taking a break. And a few things, closing notes. Let's see, they didn't get that barn built yet. Okay. If you want to read more about the mods I'm using and the load order and so forth, by all means, check out my blog. That's my journal. And you'll see the link for that down below right now. And there's a few lot of other information I've been putting up on there too. But that is where you go to look for that sort of thing. And also hit that like and subscribe. So that helps me to not only it, let me know that you're interested in these, but also helps others find my videos which I really do greatly appreciate. So, with all that said, I will see you in the next chapter. Bye for now.